Now we talk about a very famous example. This example is of World War Two London bombings. So Germany was launching these rockets V1 and V2 over London. And it was imperative to know if these uh, rockets were hitting their targets with any accuracy. So if these rockets were being accurate, then special measures have to be taken for important uh, industries as well as bomb shelters. So the city was divided into 576 sectors of equal area and uh, for a given period of time bombs were recorded so 535 bombs were dropped during the recorded time period. So this is the table in which the bombs and the sector are given. So for 229 sectors there was no bombs which were dropped. For 211 sectors, they received one bomb. 93 sectors got two bombs. 35 sectors got three bombs. Seven sectors got four bombs. And one sector actually got more than five bombs. So the standard technique for modeling random data is Poisson distribution. For example, you know, it is used for customers arriving in a bank or cars passing on a road, etc. So the objective was to fit Poisson distribution to above data. So this was done by the British statistician R.D. Clark. So the idea was this, that this, if this data follows a Poisson distribution, then we don't have to worry about anything because the rockets are just falling randomly over the city. There is no accuracy. So for such a distribution, you don't have to actually do the maximum likelihood estimation because you can just take average of this, the mean of this, and that will give you the uh, that will give you the estimate of the factor lambda used in the Poisson distribution. So, but we are going to do the maximum likelihood estimation to show you that you know you can also use numerical techniques. So, the library is stats four, and first we feed in the data. So you have 229 sectors with zero bombs. So zero is repeated 229 times. So that is repetition of zero 229 times. Then you repeat one 211 times because one bomb fell on 211 sectors. So 211 sectors just received one bomb each and then so on. 93 sectors received two bombs, 35 sectors received three bombs and so on. So we first construct a log likelihood function so you give some initial value lambda is equal to 2 so again minus sum we are fitting in a Poisson distribution this is your sample lambda is what you want to find out log is true so we are fitting in a log likelihood so I am writing an MLE here so you can also use this command MLE you're giving a lower bound and there is a specific method and then you can fit the data so we are going to run this in R and C and uh, then you construct a new array from 0 to 5 and then we are going to estimate so this is our MLE which we will calculate and then according to our lambda this lambda we have calculated we want to find out uh, what number of sectors do we get if we uh, fit our sample or our lambda so let us see this in R how it works so first we just feed in the sample x and the mean and find it. So the mean comes to be 0.9288. So we can stop here and you know start working from this lambda. But we are just going to use a numerical estimation also. So for numerical estimation we are going to use the log likelihood function and then you're going to fit it and then find the fit. So let us run these three. So again you got the lambda as 0.9288198 so this is very close you know so you can use the average of the sample if you have forgotten what the Poisson distribution is then you can just use the formula from here so now we will uh, use this 0 to 5 and apply it so let us do this so now we feed in the lambda we the values we get is 227 211 98 37 and 1 so let us write it next to the values uh, actual observed values so from our 
running the data, we got the values as 227, 211, 98, 30, 7 and 1. So we just drop the decimal. So you got these sectors from our lambda which was 0.92. So notice that these are very close to each other. So you can say that the uh, bombs are dropping randomly but to be sure what you can do is you can also conduct a chi-square test between this sample and this sample and uh, the chi-square test will show you that there is no difference between these two samples. So there is no difference. But you can also see it uh, just by looking at it. So this was important because this saved a lot of resources otherwise all the factories and uh, the bunkers would have to be relocated. So since R.D. Clark found out that the rockets actually did not have any accuracy therefore uh, it saved a lot of resources in the war.